my life or this motion I'm all together. And I'll be elaborating on those on why we're right today on the opposition side. But first let's talk about what exactly did proposition talk about today. Proposition talked about the main principle of morality and how it's an essential thing in today's world. And secondly, they came up and talked about how this opposing this motion would create materialism as an aftermath of this of uh, opposing this motion in our society. So what is opposition talk to you about today? Well, thank you. Opposition is talked to you about the occurrence of demotivation, innovation, and incentive as a result of this motion. They have also talked to you about how the role of the government is different from what the proposition believes in view regarding this motion and how the cycle of dependency is created because this motion, even though at the end of the day its goal is to alleviate poverty, it makes sure that the people who are poor are stuck in the vicious cycle of being poor. That why not? No, thank you. Okay. Um, now let's move on to the main issues that were um, prevalent in this whole debate. The proposition comes up here and throughout all three speakers they talk about the capitalism, the flaw in capitalism, how it's a vicious system that feeds off others and exploits slavers. But I have a question for a proposition today. If it is such a bad system and it is so vicious in its nature, why is it followed by so many countries all around the world? Why is it known as the main system that all the successful and first world countries are followed? Okay. And to relate to that point, it says, uh, Manani comes up here and she says that capitalism exploits the laborers. But my question to them is, how are you going to change that by being morally responsible? Are you going to guilt trip the firm that is going to make sure that it's going to, no, 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 that is going to make sure that its uh, um, employers are being uh, paid low? It sounds very philosophical. It sounds very philosophical and extremely impractical, which is why we win this debate today. Because in a world like ours, in a world like ours, there is cutthroat competition. Everybody is there to serve themselves. How on earth do you think going to someone? I'm telling you. How on earth do you think going to someone like a priest and just knocking at their door and telling them you should be morally responsible? Please give some money to these people. They need help. No, thank you. Is going to bring a serious change into this society. Okay. Let's move on to. No, thank you. Let's move on to the second. They talk about how progressive taxation and charity is not effective enough. Well, uh, is not is not an effective enough method in status quo. Thank you. And they say that the reason why this failed is because it's not enough of a resource for the government to help alleviate poverty. So my question is, how much are they exactly going to need from the rich? How much of a proportion of, uh, of uh, progressive tax 
I mean like you can come up with a better argument than this yeah. which is that Wi-Fi isn't food yeah. and therefore not a basic necessity yeah. but um, go ahead and continue and the proposition believes that yes we can live without these luxuries that we consist of but why should we at the end of the day why should 